all right what's up youtube i know it's been the longest since i have filmed it's been a year maybe even two i don't really know oh no it was actually a year ago i'm deleting like a lot of videos i'm really restarting my whole youtube journey uh in the new year so i'm super excited um but this channel is going to be a lot different than what i first wanted to um like show my channel at first i was about hair and makeup and i feel like a lot of that stuff is already saturated and plus i feel like i'm not that good i'm not gonna hold you like me criticizing myself i know people compliment my makeup but i'm like it's not the best so i don't even want to teach you how to do makeup for real i mean i can teach you the basics but i really didn't feel like doing that especially with hair um i'll do like quick updos and stuff but i'm really moving my whole youtube page to more so of academia and moving towards how to help people maneuver through college because a lot of the reason why i stopped even youtube was because of just getting all these roadblocks in school so i definitely want to like be that barrier be that help to i don't know help y'all through school i know y'all be struggling because i be struggling um especially coming from like a very extremely hard major i know a lot i know a lot of the courses how to overcome them professors so i'm really moving this channel or if you would like to join me um on how to just finesse school it's like nah but no how to like just do great in school and how to um you know really giving you shortcuts because a lot of this stuff i had to either figure it out my own a lot of it i had to figure it out on my own <laughs> trying to say oh, I did it. no a lot of it i had to figure it out on my own um i have a very tough major a lot of the I had advice, but it was really something I did. So I'll take the credit where credit is due. But yeah, so that's what my new chair is going to be out, Academia. Um, definitely drop in the comments of what you guys would like to know. Study tips, homework tips, talking to professors, writing emails. I can do even showing you how you, how you should even put, like talk to professors, and how you should even approach them. Um, papers, elaborating. I don't break all that stuff. That's what I really want to just move this channel onto them. Okay, so just a little background about me. Um, I go to Penn State University, majoring in meteorology, and I'm doing the atmospheric science track. So it's pretty tough, pretty rigorous. A lot of the courses I've been through, been all the way up to Calc 4, Calc 1, Calc 2, Calc 3, Calc 4, Chem 1, Physics 1, Physics 2, that's 400 they literally gave us i've never been in a stats class but last semester and it was my first stats class and it was stats 400 and i was just like you know you guys you guys make up stuff at this point like i'm convinced penn state makes up stuff um yeah i have had the craziest professors I mean, math homework due Saturday at 10 a.m. I will never let, I always have to tell people that. My last my last semester, I took Calc 4. I had a crazy professor. He gave us homework literally Friday and said, don't worry, I'll make you do it 10 a.m. tomorrow. Huh? 10 a.m. on Saturday? Like, I even had to raise my step, like, tomorrow. Like, it's Friday. <laughs> tomorrow. Like, get up early. I ain't never, ever, ever in my life had to get up brush my teeth on a Saturday until this semester and do homework and then submit it. Like, there was something wrong with that professor. Like, there's something mentally wrong with him. Then we also got a quiz and an exam in one day. Um, he's talking about some pop quiz before the exam to make sure if you're ready. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> you know what? <laughs> this professor really wants me. He's, he's testing me. I don't know what he wants me to do, but he's really trying. He's really testing me. But, yeah, I couldn't keep up, so I don't even care. Listen, you win some, you lose some. Um, I really, that, That's really what I also want to, like, just show on this journey of this channel. It's showing that, like, it's hard for everybody, but especially, like, Black and STEM. I really promote Black and STEM because I feel like we don't have the upper hand. We don't have the resources. So we have to literally make our own resources. We literally have to teach ourselves. We literally have to be our own support system um especially like from like my family background not a lot of them like my family's not really in STEM, so my dad's over here saying like oh well i only went up to calc two my mother's like oh i've never been taking a calc class before so 
coming here, I'm jumping in. I don't have no one to pull from. I barely can communicate with professors because I can see the skin tone barrier, the language barrier, the... Oh my goodness. I mean... Well, I don't know where to start. <laughs> That's where this channel is really just going to end up going. I mean, my experience, how to just navigate going to a PWI and sticking with STEM and, you know, how to maneuver, how to get through. Because I've been through some tough classes. The girls really tried to take me out, but the girls weren't winning. I win. I won. I cannot wait till May 2023, y'all, when I walk across that stage, STEM hotties. Uh, uh, uh. I mean, 40 inches. Y'all already, already know my dreams has been said. If any girl try to redo. Because I really don't like when like somebody's doing the same thing as me. But I mean, I'm sorry. Like, I don't like that. So, I'm going to say this first. So, when y'all see me come across that stage in May 2023. And I had the 40 inches with the natural hair. And then the curls. If somebody else beside me. If the girl... I'm sorry, I'm dramatic, but that's really gonna make me mad because like no, do not look beside don't be beside me looking like me. Don't do that. No, I'm doing that. Graduation. Anyways, besides. Graduation comes black and stem. And I graduate with atmospheric science. Oh my goodness, it's gonna be a beautiful day. But yeah, this is just a snippet of what I'm gonna be doing on my channel. Um, please leave comments down below on what you guys wanna see, what you guys wanna know, how I've like passed I mean by the hair on my chin chin with certain courses and then pass with like flying colors uh, with difficult courses. There are courses that I've gotten that are extremely hard that I passed with like A's and B's and I'm just like, well, maybe I'm not that dumb. <laughs> so now that I've built the confidence and I'm ready, uh, that's what this is going to be about. Okay, well that's it for this video. Um, please leave comments down below what you guys want to know, what you guys want to see. I really do have a ton of information I am excited to share with you guys. A lot of them are going to be done probably doing like hair tutorials or lookbooks or just chit chats. Um, certain topics I understand they're going to really have to be chit chats, especially on how I take my notes. Another quick little story. Um, my thermodynamics professor sat up here and told me Literally, I'm asking him for help. I mean, staying after for office hours. I mean, reaching out for just a lot of information. And the only compliment I received from him was that I take good notes. And I was just like, <laughs> I take good notes. Not that I'm a great student. Anyways, okay. Side chart. But um, for sure, about the good notes. And that's going to have to be like a separate video. Like on how I do notes, how I even study. I always tell people there are multiple ways I study. I don't have a specific way to study. It depends on the class. Usually I can take a look at coursework and how the professor is giving you the work or giving me the work, and that'll determine on how I'll prepare for it because I'm not gonna hold you. <laughs> not gonna hold you. There are some shortcuts to this. There are some, okay, if Professors are doing most of their exams are on the lectures. Why even listen to the readings and why even do the, well not you have to do the homework. But if it's all based on the lecture, then you really want to just whine in on the lecture and really focus on that and make sure you're taking notes that way. If he's only doing like my thermodynamics professor, if the exams are only on the homework, literally the homework and nothing about lecture, then you want to study the homework. So, <laughs> definitely give you those, like, um, hacks on how you should study, how you should prepare. Super excited. Let me know what else that I'm not thinking about um, that y'all would like to know. Because, yeah, it's time for us black folks, you know, to be successful in the academia realm. I'm ready. I love supporting other people in STEM. I like supporting other, black, even black entrepreneurs. I love black just to see black people, you know educated and really knowing their stuff and knowing their talk and you know really take it to the professional realm because i'm tired y'all like we really got to make it up in the professional realm to me that's my answer to how we're going to be able to you know get back up in this world we're gonna have to meet them where they are so let me know <laughs> i keep ranting uh, let me know what else you guys would like to know and yeah i'll be back <laughs> Thank you.